Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I want to talk about AMD performance with X-Plane. And as you probably know, you know, I've done some videos on this before, AMD video cards just perform atrociously on X-Plane. Absolutely horribly. And, you know, I get a lot of comments from AMD people who um, don't like that, like it's my fault or something. I'm just trying to report the numbers and the statistics. And, um, you know, one of the things that Vulkan, the implementation of Vulkan coming someday is supposed to do is level the performance out between AMD and NVIDIA. And I'll be just as happy as anyone else. I would love to have AMD, viable AMD alternatives, but right now it's just, just not. And so uh, we're going to take a look at some interesting... I don't know, perspectives on that. So what I decided to do was grab a benchmarking program called the Heaven Benchmark that has an OpenGL and a Direct3D benchmark built into it. And right now we're running the OpenGL uh, benchmark on the Radeon 7. And that's what you see running behind me. Now, when I, I also ran it on a 1660, so a GTX 1660. So the G, to put it into perspective, a GTX 1660 is a $220 card, and the Radeon 7 is a seven or $800 card. Um, I should know that off the top of my head. I think it's $799, um, $799 or $699. Anyway, it's, way, it's like three, over three times more expensive than the 1660 I'm comparing it to. And when we run the OpenGL test on the Heaven Benchmark, I find that the Radeon 7 is nearly one and a half times faster than the GTX 1660. And that's kind of what you would expect. Um, you know, you're getting 50% more performance, although you're paying, you know, multiple times more money for it, but that's just kind of how it is. It's diminishing returns as you go forward. Now, based on those numbers, um, I, I ran a little X-Plane benchmark of my own, and what I got was, I'm referring to my notes right now, on the GTX 1660, I got 82 frames per second. Now, if the performance were to scale the same in X-Plane as it does in the Heaven benchmark, again, both are OpenGL implementations, you would expect that same 82 frames per second to be about one and a half times higher. To be exact, it's 1.45. So you would expect the Radeon 7 to perform at about 118 frames per second. In other words, it's 1.45 times faster in the Heaven Benchmark running OpenGL. So therefore, in X-Plane, you would expect it to be 1.45 times faster running X-Plane. And the number I actually got was 52. So we went from 82 frames per second on a $220 card to 52 frames per second on a seven to $800 card when we should have gone to 118 frames per second. So, you know, that's approaching half as fast in X-Plane to give you, you know, sort of a pers perspective on, on where we're at. So, it's a tremendous, it, in fact, it's less than half of the expected frame rate. The expected frame rate's 118, just based on the Heaven benchmark, and we got 52. So that is less than half the expected frame rate one would think you would get by moving from one program to the other. So I'm hoping and expecting a whole lot from Vulcan. I have no idea when that's going to happen, when that's coming out, but um, I would love to be able to offer, you know, Radeon uh, 7s and, and uh, Vega 64s and RX 580s uh, from A&D, but right now it just, because mostly what we do is explain, it absolutely doesn't make sense based on the current performance. Again, hoping Vulcan solves that.